guys so i just got back home so the last time i filmed i think i was going to i had arrived at the hospital so for this placement um for this block um i'm placed at barra hospital so that's where you saw me go um this morning in the bus and yeah so i'm actually kind of hungry so i'm gonna make something to eat and then i'll tell you guys a little bit about my experience at barra for it's been two weeks now that i've been at this hospital so i'll give you guys a little bit of a summary of what i've gotten up to um in the last two weeks and like you know what it's been like because honestly my expectations of barra versus the reality that i experienced there it really it didn't quite match up so i'll tell you guys a little bit about that but firstly i want to change out of these scrubs and then I want to go make something to eat or to drink because I'm super hungry. And also, oh yeah, I have something I need to submit. I have my stats that I was supposed to submit at 3 p.m. and it's now like 4 p.m. So I have to quickly finish that and submit that. And also some other um, documents that I needed to submit to my supervisors that I need to submit ASAP as well. So I want to quickly submit those, do them on my laptop, um, eat something or drink something and then tell you guys about what's been happening in the last two weeks i don't think i should use myself my name is benedict so this is your first time on my channel i'm super super happy to have you um yeah um so yeah i really hope that you enjoy your stay i really hope that you enjoyed this video and um if you really like you know if you got up to here and you really enjoyed the video you know click that subscribe button click that like button it will really help my channel to grow um it'll really help other people to know about the existence of this channel and maybe you could help lots of other people who want to learn more about physiotherapy or just want to find another youtube channel to watch so yeah do that i think i'm gonna have some um cold hot chocolate to drink um and then i'm also going to start doing those stuff i need to submit and then this weekend i have a presentation i need to work on and i also have on so on saturday i usually have a kid that i tutor so he's going to be coming um on saturday so that's like about four hours and the rest of my time i think i want to dedicate it to working on that presentation because it's like group work and i have my part that i need to do and the thing is due on thursday and i haven't done a thing so I'm, i think this weekend i'm just going to try and work on that um and yeah oh my gosh look at my plant my plant is literally so dead like this plant if you don't water it it acts like it's dead and then when you put in water suddenly it comes to life but anyways i just put in some water there so hopefully it comes back to life and um yeah guys let me stop rambling let me get a move on <laughs>
for sure because this stuff tastes really really good today was such a freaky day because i had a patient who went completely non-responsive during the treatment yo it was so scary like the alarms you know those red lights and all the alarms started going off the patient's eyes started rolling back in his head mm. it was literally so freaky but good thing is that i wasn't alone i was actually there with my a physio supervisor so um yeah she just took control and you know the doctors came the nurses came and then they just discovered that the that the patient's oxygen um had gotten disconnected when we were um moving him into sitting so he was fine um he became responsive again and he was all good so yeah that was kind of like a freaky moment but it was quite interesting to have experienced that um so yeah anyways guys so the thing about barra okay let's go let's get into this barra situation so initially when i went there on the first day like if you like if you hear about barra most of the time you hear negative um comments people are always like well from what i've heard about other people it's always a thing of like you know the supervisors at barra are not nice um they give you a lot of patience you're um, under a lot of stress and under a lot of pressure so that's a bit of what i was expecting when i went there um on the first day two weeks ago so um yeah the first day we got there we met our supervisor um the head supervisor we're gonna have and she was actually really nice and you know when you expect that negativity like the whole time i was expecting her to become mean and she never did which was really funny because i just came there with the energy of oh my gosh barra everyone's gonna be really mean and barra or they're just gonna they're just not gonna be nice it was really great that when we got there she was really nice um and till now it's been two weeks and she's still quite you know a, a nice supervisor you know one thing i just have to add about why i feel like barra has been quite um decent for my group is because um um, like I said, some students had said that they were seeing a lot of patients, like the patient load was really heavy. They were saying they saw like, you know, over six, seven patients in one day. And the first day we got there, the first week, they started us off with three patients. And funny enough, those three patients was like a lot for us. And then towards the end of the first week, we started getting um, better at, you know, managing our time to the point where the second week we started seeing four patients and we managed four patients. And right now, four patients seems like too little. So it's great how they're slowly adding patients and allowing us to get used to, you know, um, the workload, get used to the whole structure of everything that's done at the hospital. So, yeah, I really love the fact that they're introducing us into this thing slowly and they're not shoving down eight patients on the first day. So, yeah, really grateful for that as well. So, Barry is quite a big hospital i think that's one of the things that i noticed when i got there it's quite big compared to some of the other hospitals i've been to the wards are really big i remember the first day we went to the first ward and it was overflowing with patients when we walked in i felt so overwhelmed there were beds upon beds upon beds in like a large hall and i think that day um they were just they had actually gotten over like the over the normal amount of patients so yeah and they were the fact that there were so many patients and then there were so many people that were working like it wasn't what i was used to normally when i go to hospitals they have like cubicles and each cubicle they have like two or four patients but this was different because there was an entire ward and there were no like separate rooms like all the patients were in one massive room all together with curtains some of the curtains weren't even working yeah i know like it was so overwhelming my first day so she gave us patients for the first day we had to go see those patients and yeah it was it was quite an experience i'll tell you that um but yeah the first day was quite a struggle um two weeks later we've made it through i'm learning each and every day it's getting a lot better so guys that's all i have to say for the first two weeks honestly like that's cardio him a lot of the things in cardio are repetitive so you do the same thing over and over again the type of patients that i've had are i've had someone with acute appendicitis i've had somebody with a hernia i've had someone with lung cancer um gunshot wounds i've had patients with stab wounds as well so those are some of the patients that i've treated in my two weeks all right guys so i'm just going to quickly insert myself and also add that i have also seen a burns patient and that, that has been a great opportunity because i know that not all hospitals have burns units so not all students have had that opportunity of seeing burns patients but um yeah by far um, the burns patient has been the most difficult patient i've had to deal with um, the patient that i got had 
burns on her arms chest and back on her legs and on her neck as well so um obviously we had the cardio aspect where you make sure that the chest is clear and there's no chest infection but also what that comes with trying to make sure that her joints don't stay stuck and that she moves um, the joints so that the skin is able to stretch and that the muscles are still also stretched because obviously when you're in pain just like how my patient was in she was in so much of pain she she wouldn't move like everything would stay still so my job would be to now come in and do active and do passive and try to stretch out that skin which would be extremely painful for the patient but like it needs to be done so yeah that has been quite a difficult um thing that we've had to do but at the same time a great learning experience i had i have to say and yeah with every single patient like i said the cardio aspect is the same you do your auscultation you do your chief examination and then you make them you know you help them become more mobile help them in terms of function getting out of bed and becoming more independent that's basically the summary of what you do for each patient so yeah this is pretty much my final block for the year i am so 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 happy you guys like i just want to write the final exam so we have a senior exam this block and then i have a um so i have a scene internal exam this block and then i'll have an external exam unseen as well and then i'm finished with um, clinical physiotherapy for the year and i cannot wait because guys this year has been so 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 long and i'm ready to be done so my exams are on the it's in the first week of november so i have next week and the week after that to just brush up on my skills and to find a patient for my scene exam and yeah that's pretty much it um unfortunately i couldn't really form much at the hospital because like there's a lot of people and it's busy and you know forming is not always allowed so that's pretty much my experience at barra hospital so far it's not so bad i know other students have had really terrible experiences and i do sympathize with them but at the same time i'm like super grateful that i'm having quite a decent experience and it's becoming quite enjoyable for me okay so my arm is getting really tired of holding this camera but i'm gonna end the vlog here for today i hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and um, like I said earlier please remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed please remember to like this video and um, you know leave a comment you know so we can have a little bit of a conversation in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time bye